I ain't got nothing to say. Malik Smith coming up next. Know your sex and stay tuned. What's the motherfucking deal, Sauce Nation? It's your boy Ed Honcho, aka at the real Ed Honcho on Instagram and Twitter. If you only want those H Town, just dripping tasty, just 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 Southern South Side, North Side flavored H Town sports takes, there you can catch me on <laughs> Sauce Sports HTX on Twitter. If you ain't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe right now. If you don't know what Sauce Sports is, well, let me give you some game. Let me drip on you a little bit. Sauce Sports is a H Town, Houston, Houston motherfucking Texas Homer channel. You know what I'm talking about? So we talking about the Texas Astros, Rockets, now. Animal Dash, we're talking collegiate, professional, semi-pro, amateur, high school, whatever it may be. If it's H-Town related, H-Town oriented, we're going to spit a little bit of, we're going to spill a little bit of flavor on it. We're going to splash a little bit of sauce on it, you know what I'm saying? We're going to put something on it. We're going to drip all on that. Uh, and this is continuing the Know Your Texan series. If you're not familiar, if you don't know, I said I was going to drop 100 videos before the first snap of preseason. This is video number 33. So, you know, a little over a third of the way through, but plenty more to do. As we're talking about player, though, number 36. And this gentleman is an undrafted free agent. We're talking about Malik Smith out of San Diego State. Um, be honest with you, straight up and down, as far as learning a lot about the guy, not a whole lot on paper that I've seen and really did, couldn't come across a whole lot of uh, a, a video that could just show off what he is uh, or that really focused on him. But from what we know, like I say, this is where Sauce Nation is very important. This is where your importance as an ingredient comes in. If you don't know, if you're new to this, you got to subscribe to become an ingredient because you're not an official ingredient until you subscribe, okay? And then once you subscribe, you become an ingredient. You, you, you contribute to the flavor, you know what I'm saying? You got to drop something in the comments below and let me know. So if you know something about Malik Smith, if you're a San Diego State fan, if you went to college with him, you know what I'm saying? If you was trying to highlight him on Twitter, if, yeah, or if you as a female trying to highlight him on tw Tinder, I'm talking about Twitter, Twitter and Tinder, I'm getting it all mixed up, trying to crack a bad joke uh, at the expense of, of, of Mumphrey. But anyway, if you're trying to get at him on Tinder or something like that back at San Diego State, drop some sauce, you know what I'm saying? Said, just drops the flame. I'm trying to figure out what's the, what's the motherfucking deal with Mr. Malik Smith. Like I say, this is about knowing uh, about people. This is about knowing playing. Okay, apparently, like I said, this here so his adopted mother. Okay, but um, definitely want to know some things about him. Definitely want to get to know the players. Like I said, because it's not just about talent on the field. You want to know the men behind the mask. You know. Uh, and, you know, where they come from, just a little bit about them and what they can contribute to the team. So, like I say, Malik Smith plays strong safety at San Diego State, six foot 190 guy, which is, which is solid. We have a lot of shorter guys. We have a couple of six-foot-plus guys. We have a lot of shorter guys in our secondary. And I think what happens with that is a lot of times is when guys who have a little bit of height on them, they may be DBs or whatever, maybe they tend to go to college and – get converted to receive if they can catch a little bit. If they can't catch, then it just don't happen. But because you have a natural advantage with that height over other players. But it has nothing to do with him. That's just something I wanted to say. So um, with that being said, like I said, came out of the Mountain West, second, uh, second team Mountain West, honorable mention twice. Uh, uh, he was honorable mention in the Mountain West twice and then became second team uh, all Mountain West. Had 114 tackles, 5.5 tackles for loss, a 28-yard uh, TD, INT, Five interceptions, ten pass breakups, one forced fumble, and one fumble return in his career. He was an undrafted uh, free agent. Like I say, uh, very kind of hard to find some stuff about him because definitely if he'd have been more known, you'd have definitely uh, seen all kind of shit. But you'd definitely be surprised. It's, it's hard to find some stuff on some of these guys who do get drafted. So they, they definitely have – some of these scouts have some, some, some internal networks I need to get affiliated with. But was born August 28th, uh, 1995. So a young dude. Uh, but what is that, 21 – like Savage, yeah, I had to say it. Anyway, uh, so played 31 games, uh, runs a 4.5640. So, like I'm saying, it just, it's not a lot that other than that, you know what I'm saying, what I found on paper that I can just give you about him. Um, I don't know if you guys are hearing good things about him coming out of camp or not. So, like I said, this is where your, your job as an ingredient is, is very important. It's of the utmost importance. You got to drop some sauce. Y'all got to let me know what y'all know about Malik Smith. Y'all got to drop some flavor on Malik Smith. What do y'all think? What have y'all been hearing? You know, do you think he's going to be a contributor? Do you think he's just a camp body? Uh, I'd like to have more positive things to say about him, but like I said, I just don't know. And from what I saw, I can't sit there and just, and just rant and rave. But like I say, he might be a project, a guy who's developing, you know, definitely see some things in. Because you have to show a little bit of something to at least, you know, get invited to the camp and get, become an undrafted free agent. So you got to show something. But then sometimes those little flashes that you get an opportunity may be just the, they might just be it. So like I say, you know, welcome to the Texans. Hopefully that he can succeed. Hopefully that he can 
thrive, and hopefully he can be one of those guys that, you know, can make a name. Maybe he can fight for that, that safety position. He might be a, a, a tweener type guy. I'm not sure. But he may be a name in that safety position. You know, a lot of people have talked about there's a lot of competition there. I think that whoever it is is going to be already on this roster, even though they brought a couple other people in to take a look at. But with that being said, Malik Smith, uh, a little bit of sauce, a little bit of flavor. Y'all let me know how y'all feel. But uh, if y'all need to have more sauce than we have on Malik Smith, then we need to get uh, get you in one of these Sauce Sports shirts immediately. Go to SauceSports.com, hit the shop button. It'll take you right to the link. Go to SauceSports.com and join the forums, man. Join the conversation. Become all the way in the flavor. You, uh, you got to subscribe. You got to go to Sauce Sports HTX on the Twitter. You got to go to the Facebook page. I'm trying to get 100 likes on the Facebook page before I finish the 100 videos. Can we make that happen? Before preseason, before the first snap preseason, can we get 100 likes on the Facebook page? Last I checked, it was at like 68. So... With that being said, catch me at Honcho Sauce if y'all want to run a game, Madden 2K, GTA, whatever, uh, all that good shit. Man, it's like I say, just hit me up, man. I'll run a game on some other shit. I don't really do the Call of Duties and other things, but maybe. But like I can say, anyway, <laughs> get at me. I got nothing but love for y'all, Sauce Nation. I appreciate each and every one of y'all, the 1,400-plus subscribers. I appreciate everybody who takes the time to watch the videos, to drop a little bit of flavor in the comment section. All the active ingredients in the sauce. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. With that being said, I'm still in the hot sauce studios. Yes, dripping sweat and dripping flavor. I'm chugging a deuce. Sauce Nation, y'all be cool like y'all be cool. I'm out.